This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com. Be sure to visit WeGotSoccer for everyday low prices on all the latest soccer gear. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing an unboxing video of a Nike Maxim EPL official match ball. This is the brand new ball again, that's going to be used in the EPL season that's already started now. And as you can see the outside box here you have the Nike Maxim here in chrome, Nike Fusion Chrome. Um, and then on the back you have a little bit of kind of three main points of the ball just showing basically some of the features, some of the technology that goes into the soccer ball, Nike Maxim again in chrome. But overall, uh, the ball itself has not physically changed from past um, EPL balls, at least for the last four years. It's been the same ball since the Nike Ascente, if you guys remember that far back, and then it turned into the Tracer, then last year with the Saitiro, and this year it's the Maxim. So the ball itself is still physically exactly the same. All that's changed this year, again, is the graphics on the outside. Um, which I'll explain a little bit later. You can see this is the EPL version. They use this ball in the EPL, Serie A, La Liga, other leagues as well. But uh, those are kind of the big three as far as what leagues are using this ball currently. Um, you can see you have the Premier League branding here uh, right in the front here with the Nike swoosh. And of course you have the Barclays Premier League logo there as well. You're gonna notice that it's FIFA approved as any match ball will be. And then on the other side of the ball, you have another Nike swoosh. You have the official match ball for the 2012-2013 season on there. And then, of course, you have the Maxim on there, which is very minimalistic. They kind of kept this, the whole design of the ball, a little bit more minimalistic this year. It's mainly white, and you have these kind of stripes going through it like this. And this is called uh, Nike's Radar Technology. And it's kind of like that flicker thing that they talked about on their soccer shoes and uh, are implementing all of their soccer shoes where the ball is... Uh, through these graphics, the ball remains as visible as possible possible while it's flying through the air, whether it's spinning or anything like that. You can see that the ball never, um, I'm spinning it, it's kind of hard to show here, but the ball is never going to kind of blend into one color. So you see I have this kind of a mesh of colors here. You have this dark navy blue, a red, and then a lighter blue kind of all intertwined together here. And uh, you have these big white spaces in between. And like I said, when the ball's spinning, no matter how fast it's spinning, it always looks like there's kind of a flicker going it's never one solid color which makes the ball a little bit more visible it gives you a little bit better idea of which way the ball is spinning how fast the ball is spinning and it just makes uh, it makes a lot of sense to implement this kind of technology on the ball as far as as far as the ball itself um, I've used this ball before it's still that same ball that we have all you probably use it at one point it's really really solid the design is fantastic which is probably why they haven't changed it you can see there's some very slight dimpling on the ball I would describe it somewhat as like a golf ball like dimpling but like I said much more minimalistic and basically all that dimpling is gonna do is kinda wick away the water a little bit allow the ball to fly a little more, a bit truer and actually fly a little bit faster simply because it makes the ball a little slightly more aerodynamic um, but overall the ball kind of doesn't have any kind of dramatic effect to it when you kick the ball straight It's gonna go straight. It's not gonna dip and curve on you on if you don't mean it to um, Which is why this is such a successful design. I really like it. Um, it's very predictable as I like to call um, Most soccer balls that I do like predictability is very important when you kick the ball You know, it's gonna react exactly how you kick it Which for me is very important in any soccer ball and the reason I think that it stayed like that is because you have this kind of synthetic leather paneling on the outside but they kept that very true, very traditional kind of uh, paneling shape. It's slightly different. You can see they're kind of rounded here. It's not a, a straight hexagon. And then you can see these other panels are slightly rounded towards the inside here. But overall, the, the basic just of the ball as far as the paneling shape is fairly traditional, which makes the ball feel um, just like that traditional it feels very true like a soccer ball should feel in my opinion but that's pretty much it guys if you want to check out the high quality pictures of this particular ball as well as buy it now for not only the epl ball but the la liga as well as the Serie A ball there will be a link in the description right to the review page on my website so go ahead and check that out uh like i said the high quality pictures will be there buy it now with exclusive coupon codes for sr 4 viewers to get some additional discounts so go ahead and check that out if that does interest you any questions you guys have about the ball leave a comment down below and make sure you guys go and check out the Facebook page. Um, basically what happens on the Facebook page is any new content that goes up on SoccerReviewsForYou.com or any kind of polls for you guys to get to decide which videos are going to go up first. Um, all that happens on the Facebook page. So uh, if you haven't gone and checked out the fan page, um, I highly recommend you do so. Again, that'll be, that link will be in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.